Remember Gen Locke? Me neither, so here is why Gen Locke is the greatest animated show ever made by lizards. You probably don't remember this amazing show, Gen Locke, created by the wonderful lizard Grey Had a Dick. His vision of a dystopian cyberpunk future is perfectly symbolized by how he completely drove rooster teeth into the ground by abusing all his animators. Grey Nodic truly set a fine example for the animation industry. The characterization in this series is incredible, organic, believable, and totally not reminiscent of drywall. First up we have Chase Blackman, whose sole defining characteristic is that he doesn't have any characteristics. Why bother coming up with anything resembling an arc or personality when you can just have the audience fill in everything for you? Next up, we have Yams, who is better at not being a character than Chase. And if you enjoy insufferably boring casts, let me remind you that they exist. Because the show is so good that anyone who watches this will forget the names of all the main characters. Banjo-Kazooie, Communist, Will You Be My Valent Transgender, Cracker, and various pieces of cardboard with voices attached. The plot is so beautifully crafted that I didn't have to look it up to remember what the hell happened in each episode. With classic rooster teeth themes like, standing around and talking about nothing for the entirety of episodes, resolving everything off screen, and mystery plot that the writer obviously doesn't know what it is but pretend to in order to subvert expectations. There are bad guys, who do bad things because they are bad and good guys who do good things because they are good. But believe me when I say this is truly the most nuanced masterpiece in the history of cinema, rivaling the works of Gundam, Neo Genesis Evangelion, and totally better than the trash heap that is Adonoa Zero. Chase learns he's a Ray clone, and the bad guys have made hundreds of Chase clones but haven't done jack shit with them for some reason, opting to send just one at the good guys over and over along with beautiful spider tanks that don't look like they were made by a reptile with the creativity and attention span of lard. They kill the Chase clone and then Chase is stuck in his bootleg gun damn forever. Truly this emotional moment hit me hard like a truck about to isekai me because I want to kill myself after seeing this show. April Fools, this show blows ass. Suck it grey.